Yo, Squido coming at you with a tactics talk. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate your support. And what you're about to witness here on this tactics talk is a 6,500 point spotting game that's a loss. And not only is it a loss, it's a getting rolled up loss. So I have spawned into Malinovka in my 1390 that's set up for passive scouting, which is about as good as you're going to get opportunity wise for passive spotting in this game. More than likely, this map, proc and fiery salient, are responsible for, I hate to put a percentage on it, but it's got to be 75 to 80 percent of all the missions that deal with spotting. These are just fantastic spotting maps, some of the few vision control maps left. What I'm going to end up doing here is doing a pretty good job of spotting, and unfortunately, I've got a team that doesn't know what to do with it. So this one is called When Spotting is Too Good. When Spotting is Too Good. Malinovka has some great forward spotting positions. This bush that I'm going to is one of them. Wish I had not knocked that tree down. That sort of lets them know I'm coming. It is a high risk, high reward position. It's not that easy to get into, and the bush is a little wonky, so sometimes you can find yourself poking out a little bit. You can see that part of my tracks are actually out. But once my camo net comes up and my binocs, we're looking pretty good. Pause it here for just a minute. You can see that I have lit up a considerable number of their team all across there. If you turn around and see what my team's doing, all of a sudden they're very enamored of this. Now that is fine early on if you've got shots. While you are moving to the position you should go to, let me repeat that, while you are moving towards the position you should go to, take those shots of opportunity as long as you're not stopping out in the open and getting spotted potentially by something like that Hawk 12 that's raging forward. So let's see what happens. There's the first of the 6,500 on the Hawk. You can see that they are all around, some camping back at their cap, some are moving up towards the hill. Moving up towards the hill. There's a novel idea. What's going on back here? A bunch of guys are rushing forward to try to poke up and over this ridge and take shots at what I'm spotting. The T-49 YOLOs into the Hawk. Now the Hawk was a problem, but he wasn't that big of a problem. I had him spotted. They were going to know when he poked more than likely that he could have taken him out. But the 49 kills himself attempting to get there. You will note also that our IS-4 and our FV, our two best guns, tier 10 guns, have gone over to the west side. That's a problem. Got guys camping back here. That's a problem. The rest of them are up on this hill, not moving towards our hill, and that is a huge problem. We only have a 430 version 2 up there. Had the FV got up into the top up here about where the Sheridan and Scorpion are and the IS-4 pushed up with the 430 we'd be in a whole bunch better shape. But I continue to spot. We continue to have shots. But the team is not doing what it needs to do. So a great example of the spotting potentially being just a little bit too good early on. Tanks stopping and not moving to where they need to be. And you can see now the hill has been lost. And now we're talking map control. I can see this Tiger too as I'm looking at it. You'll note that I don't shoot. If I shoot, I will be immediately spotted. Basically surrounded all along this arc right here. All these guys will have shots as soon as I am seen. There goes the Sheridan. be quite honest, I think he fired or something. I'm not really sure how he managed that. There's a hole up in that bush up there. Okay, so we got a 1390. Bad gunnery. Look at all these shots going in. Miss, miss, miss. I believe we get a hit right here. Yep, and it looks like he's going to make it. I'm kind of watching him as we go. I'm thinking about firing just to get him from not getting to that ramp. It's not lost, but it's looking bad. There's an RHM out in the middle. And you can see that the 1390 ends up getting there. And now map control, as you look down here, we are back into about two-thirds of the map, fixing to have maybe a quarter of the map here pretty soon. They own up here. They're coming up from the top. They've actually pushed up into these hills right here, looking over. And look how many tanks. One, two, three, four, five. One-third of our forces and our best tanks, oh, by the way, are all back here. Still, though, we're spotting, getting it done. The problem is that once the mediums and their scouts get back in here, they'll start lighting up our guys down on cap, and there's just not enough cover down there to survive. 
and you can see you guys are starting to just die like flies. Now at this point I am just calculating the moment at which I'm going to take some shots, maybe get a kill or two, maybe rack up a little bit of damage here other than spotting damage. I'm just looking for my opportunity right now. I know that I'm being surrounded by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tanks, potentially. All with shots on me. And there goes the WZ-132 Alpha. And our two tier 10s, top tanks on a 357, who had a fantastic opportunity to have a big game based on what they were facing are now dying back in the corner. Got the WZ-132 Alpha pushing in. Thought about shooting right here. That would have probably been the last shot I took. I might have got one more off with the autoloader going on. And this is the one I wish I had actually taken. Might have been able to shoot him twice. But I got a Tiger II, an RHM, and a Sturv sitting up on that little area there. When I noticed the Sturvs on a one-shot, He's still moving around over there. Aha. Uh -huh. So let's just take this one shot out. It's at least one gun I can get rid of and we'll start moving. Almost immediately hit by that Tiger II, which was amazing. He must have been zoomed in or looking in that very direction. And unfortunately, their FV is coming around this corner just at that moment. I get one more shot off and get nuked by the T-34 and the FV finished off. Or nuked by the FV and finished off by the T-34. And that's pretty much the end of that game. 6,500 spotting on Malinovka gave my team a fantastic opportunity to control the middle. Early damage by the handfuls, but did not follow it up. Did not go where they needed to be. IS-4 camping out the cap. FV camping down here. Nobody went to the hill to keep them from coming around, and it's pretty predictable after that. And now we have get the FV saying, damn, I'm drunk. Outstanding, dude. Appreciate you playing that day. All right, hope we, that, blah, hope you like what you saw. Hope you learned something. Make sure you subscribe, and we will see you.